हेलो एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू द सेशन दिस इज योर मास्टर टीचर वेंकटेश मंदला गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन हाय बुज्जी हाय भार्गवी हाय शिवा हाय चंदना हाय राम हाय सीबी एवरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून गाइस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग द सेशन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ ए न्यू सीरीज that is related to your je preparation so ipati varaku entante we have taught you concepts so enno sarlu previous sessions lo kuda meeru ento mandi you have been specifying this sir questions ekku teeskondi questions ekku teeskondi questions ekku teeskondi ani i have been telling you guys about the same questions teeskovalante concepts takku cheppalasindi vastundi concepts takku teeskunte questions ekku cheppagalam ani tattuga nenu previous sessions lo kuda meeku already cheppadam aithe jarigindi so meer adiginattuga sir questions cheddam annaru kada so this is your questions this is your session for the questions and inkokati kuda this is there are only few more days left idu kuda manasulo pettukoni idu kuda drushtilo pettukoni meeku kavalsina anni pyqs aithe manam ee particular session lo solve cheyadam so prathi okka question ikkada meer chuse prathi okka question kuda pyq question okay hi pranit good afternoon pranit hi jessica good afternoon hi lokesh astrophile hi good afternoon hi joshna good afternoon everyone good afternoon guys hi lokesh good afternoon sir kiran sir synopsis cheptar annaru meeru pettaledu which one are you talking about sanjit i didn't get you which one you are talking about sanjit so ee particular session lo aithe manam pyq solve cheyadam danto paatu ga concepts kuda telusukuntam kani aa concepts ela telusukuntam ante ఒక క్వశ్చన్ సాల్వ్ చేయడానికి కావాల్సిన కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అన్ని కూడా విల్ ట్రై టు అండర్స్టాండ్ అండ్ దెన్ సాల్వ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఆల్సో ఓకే సో ఎం వి సాట్ రిజల్ట్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ డిసెంబర్ ట్వంటీ టుడే ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ ఇస్ హ్యాస్ టు బీ టుడే ఇఫ్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ రాంగ్ లెట్ మీ చెక్ ఐ కెన్ నాట్ గివ్ దాట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ టుడే హాయ్ హాయ్ రామ్ హాయ్ ప్రశాంత్ నమస్తే నమస్తే రూపేష్ so we'll start with today's session so evaraina ganaka inka channel ki subscribe cheskonatlayite please subscribe to the channel and dan to partiga if there is anyone who did not join the telegram group so here is the qr code ee qr code ni meeru scan chesi telegram group laite join avachu so telegram group enduku join avali what is the need of joining this particular telegram group ani evarna adiginatlayite you know that prathi roju prathi class ki sambandhinchina notes every single thing we will be posting in the telegram group so that is one of the main reason i am telling you join the telegram group okay hi nitin hi rudra <laughs> so without any more delay we'll start with today's session okay so here is all the pyqs that have been for the past 15 years okay 15 20 years nunchi vachina pyqs questions anni kuda ee particular session lo solve cheyadam sir one shot lu cheyandi uh, evil gaming will be focusing now on with the questions so meeku concepts kuda manam chesam evil gaming if you can look at concepts also we have discussed except for electrochemistry electrochemistry part 2 okati undi aa part 2 matram i'll be recording it and i'll be sharing it with you guys okay all right thank you satvik <laughs> so here goes your first question ee question chudandi so this is a je 2024 question it's an old question but the model of the questions aithe ilane untayi ilante questions ekku ga adugutuntaru so nenu previous sessions lo kuda atomic structure ki sambandhinchi i have specified this so many times edaina questions ekku ga adugutaru ante something that is related to electronic configurations alane quantum numbers and deento part ga the most important thing is also like the questions that are based on the particle nature of light that is bohr's atomic model to particle nature of light to intermix chesi kuda questions aithe adugutaru absolutely lokesh last 5 years aithe saripothayi you can actually practice last 5 years so basically ga pyqs manam enduku solve chestam ante okka sari manam ganaka pyq solve cheyagalugutunnam ante dan artham entante you are able to handle the questions you are able to you know oh itwanti question pyq ante previous session, previous year lo ochindi atwanti question me solve cheyagalutunnaru ante dan artham entante meer obvious ga you are able to solve the je questions that is the most important thing so ee point of time lo je question solve cheste that gives you this confidence so confidence is so that you can actually do things much better okay so concepts yes absolutely i'll be telling the concepts but ekkadaithe avasaramo those concepts i'll be discussing surya okay 
So concepts we have already discussed. So in this particular session, I will try to focus on the concepts with that the questions. Okay, there are co other concepts also we will be getting. So in this particular concepts, we will be discussing about those concepts as well. So basically, I will be going through the synopsis part. So in 20 questions, which nobody yella deal jali how to solve those kind of questions so first thing how to your approach must be so eppudaina manam manaku four different set of quantum numbers ane unnai so ee four set of quantum numbers lo principal quantum number azimuthal magnetic and spin quantum number so ee quantum numbers lo okkokati okkoka dani signify chestadi so this principal quantum number can be used to figure out the orbit number alane energy of the orbit energy of the electron in that particular orbit radius velocity ivanni kuda ganukochu using the principal quantum number so, if you have principal quantum number values, they start from 1. It is represented by the letter n. n equal to 1, 2, 3, so on till n. These are principal quantum numbers. Okay. So, every orbit has a principal quantum number. Let's say our principal quantum number for a particular orbit is n. So, this n law, any subshells are present in the number of subshells that are present in a particular orbit is equal to n. Okay, principal quantum number 1 is the subshell also one time. Okay, principal quantum number 2 is the subshell two So, in the case two key, two subshells are the S subshell P subshell. Okay, principal quantum number 3 is the mood subshells are the S, P, D. This number of subshells are the number of So, the number of subshells you can actually figure out. And you have to understand something here. The second quantum number is representing the subshell. So, L to denote just so, it must be less than n. This is the second condition. Must be less than n. First, this is So, this is the L value. This the L value. This the L value. This is the L value. This is the L value. This is the Three, so on. Zero ninja range of the where zero represents the yes subshell, alane one represents the P, two represents the D, and three represents the F. Here are different subshell ni indicate just the okay. Sir can listen this section without listening Avenger CC. Yes, absolutely, Sunita. No issues with that. You can actually uh, you know understand in the concepts got in a chep page up to none. Okay. So next thing, what is the next condition you will check for? M value and magnetic quantum number go check just them. So magnetic quantum number is denoted by the letter M. So the value second on time plus L, sorry, minus L to plus L on time. So minus L to plus L. And the L and the man could less than N on the first to choose quality. Tharavata M low, M value either take a rich undaro, a value and the minus L to plus L maddalo, unda, leda, and a wish and a man gown in Charlie. And the only good integral values mathrame. It will be for example, like L value 2 and Kondi, M value must be either minus 2 or minus 1 or 0 or plus 1 or plus 2. Yeah, either values mathrame undali. Okay, understood? Yes, absolutely, Nani, you are absolutely right. Okay, uh, so then you will get to know I am, it's actually it is supposed to be December 26th if I am not wrong, but I will just check, I will let you know maybe in tomorrow's session, but I think we have other sessions also, I will ask sir to address this also about it, so don't worry about it, you will get to know things about MVSAT, Kunch of peace will go on and you will get the results, okay, so next thing is the, Spin quantum number. So, spin quantum number based on the spin. Spin is going to change the change. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Okay, clockwise, it is again plus half and minus half. It could be anything. So, this is how you verify this. The spin is plus half or minus half. Zero is not like that. So, if you put it, n equal to 4. So, 4 and day, you can see the answer. Let's try to check this out. So, first, L value is less than 4. Unda. Yes, absolutely correct. So then they are asking which are the correct for an electron on 4f orbital. 4f and a n equal to 4. F value got 3. So m is m value again it is lying between minus 3 to plus 3. Correct. S is plus half. This is absolutely correct. So this is the case of possibility. This is the case of possibility. But again, m value is more than L. So minus L to plus L is not happening. Hence this is not our right answer. 
Understood? So, uh, will you be able to solve any questions that are related to quantum numbers? So, quantum number related questions are not going to And if you have any concepts, concepts good as we go through the session, we'll discuss about them. Don't worry about it. So, let's look at the next question. Okay? Sir, can I listen to the class with zero knowledge? Is this video enough? Rupesh, you can listen to it. See, I will tell you, even if you have zero knowledge, Yakadaite concepts out there, Yakadaite Yadi Tardan Yeskodan in the concepts Kavala in Jepta Nipuruda. But I wouldn't say that this video is only enough and Ite Chapan. So this is for you to get that confidence that you are able to solve the question. Then question solve Cheyalutunanu. Ane Waka Namakan Kosam Miki the Vadan Jarutundi. Okay. Is this clear? This is Avengers Endgame course. Okay. So let's look at the next question. So, this question you don't So, this is also a JE question. This is again also related to quantum numbers. So, here we have a question in the multi-electron atom, which of the following orbitals described by the three quantum numbers will have the same energy in the absence of magnetic and electric field? So, basically, here we have quantum numbers. So, this set of quantum numbers, the energy will be same. That is what they are asking for that particular orbital. Ki, ye, ye set of quantum numbers ki energy is same. Unto na 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 so, manam basically, energy in yala define yes them. What is the thing that defines the energy of a particular orbital? Me na, what is the rule? A rule pair chappa galra. What is the rule that tells you about the energy of a particular orbital? N plus L rule. Na. So, let's see if we can solve this. Me kloy, yantam andi N plus L rule. Gurtun do. Din upayog inchi. Solve it and try it. What is the answer? Let's try to figure this out. Uh, yeah, Jaya and Milo Kondamanda Adutunaru, sir, you know, just some basic concepts of chemistry. Gada, in the atomic structure, this Kunarani. I'll be taking the some basic concepts of chemistry in tomorrow's session. Okay, rapid session, lo, I'll be taking some basic concepts of chemistry. Don't worry about it. I'll be taking that. So I felt I will. I wanted to start with atomic structure. Okay, some basics of concepts of chemistry. Look at me, can no. We will be solving questions related to mole concept, stoichiometry, and then the particular oxidation number based, alanine disproportionation, comproportionation, even different types of reactions. Even if you have examination of questions, you can solve the session. That is related to some basic concepts of chemistry. Okay? So, this is the physical chemistry. We will cover all this every single chapter of PYQ. Okay? So, the answer that you are saying is D. You can D and you can do A and you can do Correct? So, it will be as per the schedule. Only e particular session matra me mundu disko na nu. it will go as per the schedule on a daily basis. Okay. So, mari some basic concepts of chemistry type in tarada chemical bonding aithe chadna. Okay. So, kontha mandi D anto naaru, Y anto naaru. So, let's try to figure this out. Answer. Sir, present previous year question J and D. Yes, we will do it, Pawan. Okay. So, D is the answer he says. So, what is the rule that explains this N plus L rule? If you have n plus l value the same in it, then you can say that the energy of that particular orbital that is describing the set of quantum numbers is also the same. So, magnetic field, electric field, if you have n plus l value the same in it, if it is the same in it, then energy of orbital is the same. Energy of orbital is the same. So then check for this n plus l value. If you look first, this juice nut like it is 1 plus 0. Okay. But if you juice nut like it is 2 plus 0. And the CV is actually what? 2 plus 2. So the C value is 2 plus 2. But D is what? It is 3 plus 2. And what is E here? It is also 3 plus 2. So, only D and E have same N plus L values. So, that means obvious ga, me to chepin at ga, A is the right answer. Absolutely, Praniti, J aspirant, Durgam, absolutely, which is the answer here? A is the answer. So the fundamental concept ain't ikada, N plus L rule opio ginchi manamaite, e particular question is solve J alsin daite untadi. Understood? Any questions still here? Any questions? Okay, 30 seconds first to me kiss thano. Ye concept ekado paya ginchala first aadi jaapandi. Mani me ki ye concept upaya ginchali and chepin darata question answer jeda nikhe prayatne chandi. Me ko raale dhan na puto neno multi concepts explain chesi multi a question is all jaastano. Okay, so that is how we are going to solve going forward the rest of the remaining questions. 
Is this clear? So the board is as profile ok sorry refresh hai because I can see it. The board is very much clear because I am looking at the video now. Ok sorry ni clarity ok sir chudu as profile. I am sure this will be sorted. Okay. Is this clear? Hi, Gnananda. One month low syllabus I put on the Adi Manami the dependa into the Gnananda. In the Jephthun and Ante, how you have studied, how you have gone through the chapters of our JE for the past few days. So, if you are able to finish it, then in the Kante Pratyokro different. You cannot say that everyone will be able to finish, everyone will not finish Allah Chapelem. My revision just on a day, it is a different mood that you will follow in finishing the syllabus. Okay. It is possible, but it depends on how good you have spent in the last one and a half year, nunchi, two years. Lo, manam yen chesam, yala chesam ani dhani. Me the dependa inta di. Yana nanda. Uh, Lokesh, the modules cheste saripo thunda. Lokesh, the module that we are doing now is only for you to give the confidence that ne na JE question solve chhe yalo gutu nanu. That means I am prepared for this. That is the one of the main reason behind this sessions. Okay, we will have day after tomorrow, Varshit. So let's look at the next question. So E question you ready next? Yes, D and E is the right answer. So E question you ready? Of the following sets, which one does not contain isoelectronic species? So E question you ready? So this is a direct question. Meko isoelectronic species anti into tells in it like You will be able to answer this particular question. Let's see if we can answer this particular question. So. 30 seconds, just think about it and try to answer this particular question. So, isoelectronic species and A into Okasar Alo Chinchandi first. Then you will be able to solve the question. Okay. Uh, unknown is. Yes, absolutely, it has same number of electrons. Okay, so this isoelectronic species and the species which have same number of electrons. So we will have same number of electrons in the same number of electrons. What is isoelectronic species? So in this isoelectronic species, if you want to figure out the same number of electrons, first with their atomic numbers. So what is the meaning of O3, O3, O3. So the mood is not to add the number of electrons. So O3, you can ignore it from every single ion. So O3, O3, O3 B3 minus. Boron line on tie. 5 plus 3 it is 8. 6 plus 2 it is 8. And 7 plus 1 it is also 8. So this, all of this are isoelectronic species. Marikka to jorandi dhidhi kuda O3, O3, O3. Leave the oxygens. So sulfur me the 2. So it is what? 16 plus 2, 18. And here the carbon. 6 plus 2, 8. 7 plus 1, 8. So, SO3, 2 minus. So, this is not an isoelectronic species. So, the annual ante because of this SO2. So, SO2 is the one which is not isoelectronic with the remaining ions and matter. So, they are asking which one does not contain isoelectronic species. So, I have an answer in the question. So, which one does not contain? So, question the first thing learning the question is important. So, this is the isoelectronic species. But here we have 14 electrons, 14 electrons, 14 electrons. So, this is also isoelectronic. But here we have 0, 4, 0, 4, leave it off. Phosphorus, 15 plus 3, 18. 16 plus 2, 18. 17 plus 1, 18. So, this is also isoelectronic. My answer is to B is the right answer. Okay. Uh, okay, who is... Sadanandam concepts I think in our previous sessions we discussed some Sadanandam. Yanto Mandi, they have, you guys have attended that also. Wakasari, to learn the concepts in detail, I would advise you to go through the previous sessions. In the Gandhi, previous sessions, we have a chapter, we have sessions, more sessions, we have a chapter, we have time, we have concepts. So, once you finish the concepts, you will be able to answer these questions also. So, in particular session, we have questions, we have concepts explained. That is what we are doing. Okay. Sadhanandam, I hope I have cleared your doubt. Okay, clear. So let's look at the next question. So next question. According to Bohr's theory, the angular momentum of an electron in fifth orbit is. 
which lesson want to prepare first sir it depends on you gyanandam whichever you are good with it okay it depends what you want to prepare nu edaithe nerchukovali if you think that you are good with this ne idu nerchukovali anukunte neeku raandena nerchuko that is no can ee point of time lo manam cheyalasindi endante solve the questions then you will get to know where you are lagging then you can actually focus on that particular part you can understand that particular part then you can get better with it అండ్ ఇంకోటి చెప్తున్నాను మీలో ఎంతో మందికి అర్థం కాని విషయం ఇంకోటి చెప్తున్నాను పీవై క్యూస్ ఎందుకు సాల్వ్ చేస్తారు వాట్ ఈస్ అ రీజన్ వై డూ యూ సాల్వ్ ద పీవై క్యూస్ పీవై క్యూస్ సాల్వ్ చేస్తే ఏమొస్తుంది సో ఇక్కడ పీవై క్యూస్ లో ఇచ్చిన క్వశ్చన్ మీకు జేఈలో ఇస్తారు అనుకుంటున్నారా డూ యూ థింక్ దే విల్ ఆస్క్ యూ ద సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్ దట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఆన్ ద బోర్డ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద జేఈ ఆల్సో నెవర్ నో వన్ విల్ ఎవర్ ఆస్ దట్ నో వన్ విల్ ఎవర్ డూ దట్ నీ టు కూడా సేమ్ థింగ్ పీవై క్యూస్ మనం సాల్వ్ చేయడానికి గల కారణం ఏంటి అంటే ఈ క్వశ్చన్స్ నేను సాల్వ్ చేయగలిగితే రిమైనింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కూడా సాల్వ్ చేయగలను అనే ఒక కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ కోసం మాత్రమే ఈరోజు మీరు ఈ సెషన్ లో ఉన్నారు అంతే తప్ప పీవై క్యూస్ సాల్వ్ చేసినంత మాత్రం ఇదే పీవై క్యూస్ మీకు జేఈలో ఇస్తారు అనే రూల్ ఎక్కడా లేదు ఎప్పుడు కూడా లేదు ఓకే ద రీజన్ వై వీ సాల్వ్ ద పీవై క్యూస్ ఇస్ టు గెట్ దాట్ కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ దాట్ యు ఆర్ ఏబుల్ టు సాల్వ్ ద పీవై క్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ అ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ అందుకనే ఆరు నెలలు ఉన్నప్పటి నుంచి కూడా ప్రతి ఒక్కరిని టైం దొరకదు కాబట్టి పీవై క్యూస్ ఒక్కటే సాల్వ్ చేయండి అని చెప్తాం ఎందుకంటే దట్ గివ్స్ యూ ద కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ ఓకే ఈ క్వశ్చన్ జేఈలో వచ్చింది నేను సాల్వ్ చేయగలిగాను దట్ మీన్స్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ మ్యాటర్స్ అండర్స్టూడ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ద సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ద టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ దట్ దే ఆస్క్ దట్ మ్యాటర్స్ హియర్ అండర్స్టూడ్ ఎలా అడుగుతారు క్వశ్చన్ లాజికల్ గా ఉంటుంది ఎలా ఉంటుందా అనేది అర్థమైందా ఇస్ దిస్ క్లియర్ రైట్ సో అకార్డింగ్ టు బోర్స్ చేరి ద యాంగ్లర్ మొమెంటమ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇన్ ద ఫిఫ్త్ ఆర్బిటర్స్ సో హౌ డూ యూ క్యాలకులేట్ ద యాంగ్లర్ మొమెంటమ్ సో యాంగ్లర్ మొమెంటమ్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఇస్ గివెన్ బై వాట్ ఎన్ హెచ్ బై టూ బై ఇట్ ఇస్ అన్ ఇంటగ్రల్ మల్టిపుల్ ఆఫ్ హెచ్ బై టూ బై రైట్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎన్ ఇన్ టూ హెచ్ బై టూ బై సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద కేస్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ఎన్ వాల్యూ గివెన్ హియర్ సో ఎన్ వాల్యూ ఇస్ గివెన్ యాస్ ఫైవ్ సో ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ టూ హెచ్ బై టూ పై విచ్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వాట్ టూ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ టూ హెచ్ బై టూ పై రైట్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ హౌ యూ సాల్వ్ ఇట్ రైట్ ఇస్ దిస్ క్లియర్ ఎస్ అబ్జల్యూట్లీ రోషన్ దిస్ ఇస్ యువర్ అబ్జల్యూట్లీ రైట్ సో ద ఆన్సర్ హియర్ ఇస్ బి ఇస్ ద ఆన్సర్ టు దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఓకే సో లెట్స్ లుక్ అట్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ దెన్ సో ఈ క్వశ్చన్ చూడండి look at this particular question so which of the following set of quantum numbers represents the highest energy of an atom so ikkada kanipinche quantum numbers lo a set of quantum numbers ki energy ekkuva ga untundi that is a question so which one do you think what is the rule that you are going to use intaka munde manam already discuss chesam a rule use chesi answer chestaru idi so what is the answer to this particular question models is there sir yes absolutely the type of concept could be asked but it's not that you will get the same questions ఓకే మీకు నీట్లో అయితే అసలు కనీసం ఈ ఇదే క్వశ్చన్ మళ్ళీ రిపీట్ అయితే అసలు కాదు నీట్లో అయితే ఓకే ఈవెన్ ఇన్ జేఈ ఆల్సో ఇట్స్ నాట్ దట్ దే విల్ ఆస్ ద సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ద మోడల్ కుడ్ బి సేమ్ ఎస్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ అబ్జల్యూట్లీ సి విచ్ లెసన్ హ్యాస్ హై వెయిటేజ్ ఐ వుడ్ సే ఈ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ టైంలో ద స్కోరింగ్ విల్ బి సి వెయిటేజ్ అంటే ఆల్వేస్ కోఆర్డినేషన్ కాంపౌండ్స్ అండ్ యూనో డిఎన్ ఎఫ్ బ్లాక్ ఎలమెంట్స్ దే ఆర్ వెరీ హ్యూజ్ వెయిటేజ్ అండ్ ఇంకొక రకంగా ఈసారి మీకు చాలా పెద్ద అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఏంటంటే P block elements is also going to be scoring. ఎందుకు స్కోరింగ్ ఎందుకు ఈజీ అని చెప్తున్నానంటే P block elements లో మొత్తం డిలీట్ చేసేసారు. So there is lot of things compounds of your P block elements is completely deleted. So because of that ఏంటంటే అక్కడ only concepts చదువుకుంటారు. So that will help you obviously in uh, scoring in better. ఎందుకంటే అక్కడ మీరు గుర్తు గుర్తు పెట్టుకోవాల్సిన అవసరం కూడా ఏది అంత పెద్ద ఎక్కువగా ఉండదు ఓకే సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఇయర్ ఇట్స్ త్రీ ప్లస్ టూ దట్ ఈస్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ రూల్ మనం ఇంత ముందే చూసాం సో ఎన్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ రూల్ అప్లై చేసాం అనుకోండి ఇక్కడ సో ఇట్ ఇస్ త్రీ ప్లస్ జీరో హియర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ త్రీ ప్లస్ వన్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ త్రీ ప్లస్ టూ మరి ఇక్కడ ఫోర్ ప్లస్ జీరో సో ద ఆన్సర్ హియర్ ఇస్ సి ఇస్ ద ఆన్సర్ టు దిస్ ఓకే next let's look at the next question we will try to solve as many questions as we can okay and any reaction sir remember only product or complete reaction sir we have to remember only product or complete reaction it depends mohit it depends on the what reactions
So let's look at this question. The ionization enthalpy of hydrogen atom is given as 1.312 into 10 power 6 joules per mole. Okay, ionization enthalpy which are the ionization enthalpy is given. The energy required to excite the electron from the atom n equal to 1 to n equal to 2 it is. It is not 1. Here it is n equal to 1 to 2. So 1 to 2 ke excite cheyal and yant energy avasaram ane de ikada question. So basically the question you solve you must know what exactly is ionization enthalpy. So hydrogen atom So I mean hydrogen atom, I'll give you a clue. Let's try to solve this. So I hydrogen atom and this is nucleus. So I have an electron So the electron which is at n is equal to 1, they are taking it to n equal to infinity orbit. Okay. So I have this energy and the energy and energy. So the amount of energy that is Required is how much? It is 1.312 into 10 power 6 joule per mole. This is the energy that is required. So, what you can do is n equal to 1 to 2 excite shall and n thousand. So, that means if they want to excite it from n1 to n equal to 2. So, you can excite it how much energy you have to supply. So, you can the energy supply the question. Can you do this? How to solve this question? Okay, once again, you want me to tell you N plus L rule. N plus L rule, they need to describe just to the energy of the orbital. So, N plus L value, you can get the energy of the orbital. Understood? Okay, so is this clear? So, let's look at this. So, how do you solve this particular question? Let's see if you will solve this question. So, we have a clue in this channel. The data is given. So, I will tell you question is how to solve the approach. If you have a question, you will try to make it in the form of a diagram. So, this data is how to solve the clarity. So, what do we do first? So, we have to say that this infinity minus E1 is equal to how much? 1.312 into 10 power 6. Is that right? Is this what? Then what is E infinity? It is nothing but zero. Energy of the electron at infinity is how much? It is obviously zero. So C and D multiple answers is to Naru. Okay, let's try to look at this. So that means here, then what do you see this? E1 is what? Minus 1.312 into 10 power 6. So Manak Telsin Vishamind and E is directly proportional to what? Z square by N square. So, into z square by n square jayas te naak ekado chye di e n nos tade. What do I get here? I get e n is equal to minus 1.312 into 10 power 6 into z square by n square. So, hydrogen ga bati, this is again equal to 1. Correct? So, what is n value here? 4 this kundi sari. So, e2 is equal to minus 1.312 into 10 power 6 whole divided by 4. So, if you Cancel it. How much will you get? 4, 0 0.43s are 12 and 43s are 12, 42s are 8, 4 8s are 32. So this is what you will get. So you can the study. This will be minus 0 0.328 into 10 power 6 of study. Correct? So now you have to E2 minus E1 just a market study. What is the value for E2 minus E1? So E2 and the Kadamanaki. Minus 0 0.328 minus of what is the even value that is minus 13 sorry 1.312 into 10 power 6. So it could go into 10 power 6. So then you're gonna come simplify just the game answer. So the answer is D. You will get the answer as D. And then you will subtract just the value will be 9.84 into 10 power 5 joule per mole is this clear understood okay so this plus minus of minus this plus i so this becomes negative yes absolutely jayant they are not the old concepts so we are just the the questions might be old but we are doing the same concepts right it's all about the concept okay so, sir, once again explain this question. So, this question is that we have ionization enthalpy. So, ionization enthalpy and D and D, the energy that is required to remove an electron from the first orbit to the infinite orbit. 
So first orbit and infinite orbit in and remove your energy, the energy also from the while they are asking, they are asking, what is the energy that is required for an electron from E1 to E2? This is the value that they are asking. So E value can occur under first orbit and second orbit. Can I'm this kind of energy? And energy also from the other one. Okay. Then that is the reason what we are doing here. We are calculating this E1. We can E N dels kuna. E1 substitute just them, E2 substitute just them. So E2 minus E1, you will get this as the answer. Okay, is this clear? So let's look at the next question. So in the next question, you have so E question you ready? So this is based on the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So what exactly is Heisenberg uncertainty principle? What what does this principle tells us? So you cannot figure out the position of an electron. And the velocity of an electron at a one particular point. Okay, well, man, position ganu kora nik prayat ni inchinat laite. You cannot figure out the velocity. If you try to figure out the exact velocity of an electron at a particular point, sorry, velocity of the electron, then you cannot exactly figure out the position of the electron. That is what this Heisenberg uncertainty principle says. So, what exactly is the term, term that explains this? Delta x into delta p is greater than H by four pi. So this is the one that explains the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So if this is the case, okay. So now let's look at this. So what is given in this? In an atom, an electron is moving with a speed of six hundred meter per second. So if I am talking about atom, only atom lo ka electron only. So a electron only the nth speed to move to six hundred. Meter per second with an accuracy of only 0.005 percent. So if this is given, they are they have given us we can actually calculate the uncertainty in the velocity. So you could can I write this as delta x into delta v into m is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. Then delta x into delta v is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi m. Okay. So if this is the case, the marker delta v will calculate just them. <laughs> so delta v will calculate just them. So how do you figure out this delta v? So delta v they have given as the accuracy is given as 0.005 percent. So that means the uncertainty in the velocity will be what 600 into 0.005 whole divided by 100. So what will be the value here? It will be what? 0.03 os thadi. This will be the uncertainty in the velocity in meter per second. So if this is the case, okay. So if this is the uncertainty in the velocity, then can you calculate the delta x here? So yalla calculate just them. So delta x can be calculated as what? So here, delta x will be equal to h by 4. Pi m into delta v. So this is what I will use. So what is the answer? What is the answer to this particular question? What is the answer to this particular question? Okay. So yalla just tell me that the h value is given as what? Six point six into the power of minus thirty four joules. Second, so this is the Planck's constant is given, and alani manaku yam is the mass of the electron it is nine point one into ten power minus thirty one. So adi manam agar substitute chastam. So then on substituting this values, what will you get as delta x? What is the answer you have got? It is B or A. So what is the answer to this? Yes, B is the answer to this. It is one point nine two into ten power minus. So you could just the only thing is like the simplification. So delta x and that the what is the h value? It is six point six two five into ten to the power of minus thirty four whole divided by four into three point one four into and what is m value given as? So m value is given as nine point one into ten power minus thirty one. You could nine point one into ten power minus thirty one into zero point zero three. So then you simplify just the man got the answer it is 1.90 into 10 power minus 3 or something. So this is the answer that you will get. Understood? 
Any question still here? Any question? So let's look at the next question then. So he question you already. So look at this particular question. So what exactly is this question? He question you already. Sorry. So I will. Me question shall do that. Then you try to answer this question. So the energy required to break one mole of chlorine chlorine bonds in Cl two is two forty two kilojoule per mole. अंडे one mole of chlorine bonds ने मानम break चाहिए यार अंडे मानको two forty two kilojoule से नहीं द आवश्यक होते होंगे. The longest wavelength of light that is capable of breaking a single Cl Cl bond is. So what has to be the longest wavelength of light? Okay, longest wavelength of light. That is capable of breaking a single chlorine-chlorine bond. Ante that has to have minimum frequency. So longest wavelength ante minimum frequency. So they are evaluating the aim of the naru longest wavelength of light. Ante they are asking the light that possesses minimum frequency. So minimum frequency to break the bond. To break this chlorine-chlorine bond. And the minimum frequency, and what is the minimum energy of that radiation must be to break this particular bond? And that is the normal nature. Okay, is this clear? So, if this is the question that they are asking, then how do you figure out the energy that is required to break this particular bond? So, if what kind of energy? If I want one mole break, I can do it. So that means if I want to break one mole, then the energy I need to do is that is 242 kilojoules. And that is the energy I need. So one mole is equivalent to what? 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 molecules. So that is 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. If chlorine molecules this kind of light, I have 242 kilojoules of energy. I need to answer this question. And the, you know, what molecule will break break? Change alone, go and. I have energy. I need to answer this question. 242 whole divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 kilojoules. So in the case, this is the energy that is needed for me to break this one chlorine bond. Is it right? So what a chlorine bond in and break challenge in Aku in the energy and the hours from out to the correct. So if this is the amount of energy that is required to break one chlorine bond. Okay. So ante Naki Kada what a chlorine bond key in the energy hours from out to the that is 242. So 242 into 10 power 3. Whole divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23 joules. Okay, so in the energy and the answer must be. And in the energy, ni yeh dena produce chhiya ali and ante. That means what has to be the energy of the radiation? Compulsory energy of the radiation must be equal to e 2.42 into 10 power 3 whole divided by 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. So, we know that we have a relation between energy and the frequency. So, I calculate just them. This is equal to what? H mu and calculate just them. So, this is again given as what? H C by lambda. So, can I say lambda is equal to, okay, 6.023 into 10 to the power of 34. Correct? So, then similar ga C. 3 into 10 power 8 into what is this 6.023 into 10 to the power of 23. 6.02 into 10 to the power of 23. Okay. Whole divided by 242 into 10 power 3. So this is what I will get here. Understood? Okay. So if you simplify this, yes, the answer you will get is 494 nanometer. Understood? Is this clear? Yala chayala ardha mainda. You have any questions still here? Okay. Okay, skilled Himal. So you want the important formula and the questions. Right? For sure I'll give. Kani nu adigin atlika o question japta nu. There is nothing that is not important. And there is nothing that is important. Okay, I'm just telling it to you. As we are a JE aspirants, but for sure, I will give you some formulas, then I will start solving the questions. Okay, Hemal? I understand that. Okay, clear? So, this is how you solve it. Let's look at the next question. 
ఈ క్వశ్చన్ చూడండి సో లుక్ అట్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ క్వశ్చన్ హియర్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఏ జేఈ క్వశ్చన్ సో ఇక్కడ కూడా మనకి ఏమి ఇచ్చారంటే అయనైజేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ హీలియం ప్లస్ అయాన్ ఇచ్చారు ఇక్కడ వాట్ ఈస్ అయాన్ దట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ హీలియం ప్లస్ అయాన్ ఈస్ నైన్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఇంటూ టెన్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిటీన్ ఇచ్చారు రైట్ సో ద ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ ద ఫస్ట్ స్టేషనరీ ఆర్బిట్ ఆఫ్ లిథియం ప్లస్ టూ అడుగుతున్నారు సో హీలియం ప్లస్ అయాన్ దట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ నైన్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఇంటూ టెన్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ మైనస్ ఎయిటీన్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ హైడ్రోజన్ లైక్ స్పీషియస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ సో ఇయర్ ఆల్సో హైడ్రోజన్ లైక్ స్పీషియస్ యొక్క ఫస్ట్ స్టేషనరీ స్టేట్ యొక్క ఎనర్జీ అడుగుతున్నారు సో మనకు తెలిసిన విషయం ఏంటంటే బేసికల్ గా ఒక హైడ్రోజన్ కి ఎలా క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేస్తాం ఫర్ ఏ హైడ్రోజన్ ఓకే ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఆర్బిట్ ఇస్ గివెన్ ఎస్ వాట్ హౌ డూ యూ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ దిస్ హాస్ వాట్ మైనస్ థర్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఇంటూ జెడ్ స్క్వైర్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వైర్ అని క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేస్తాం ఇన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ వోల్ట్ కరెక్ట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ హౌ వీ క్యాలిక్యులేటెడ్ సో ఇక్కడ మనకు అయనైజేషన్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ హీలియం ఇచ్చారు సో అంటే ఇక్కడ నాకు హీలియం ఉంది సో ఈ హీలియం విచ్ ఈస్ హ్యావింగ్ అన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ సో ఈ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ నేను కనుక తీసేయాలంటే టు అన్ ఇన్ఫైనెట్ డిస్టెన్స్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఈఎన్ మైనస్ ఈ వన్ ఈస్ గివెన్ యాజ్ హౌ మచ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ యాజ్ నైన్టీన్ పాయింట్ సిక్స్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఎయిటీన్ ఇచ్చారు అంతేనా దిస్ మెనీ జౌల్స్ ఈస్ గివెన్ కరెక్ట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ దే హ్యావ్ గివెన్ రైట్ సో ఈ ఇన్ఫినెట్ నుంచి ఓకే సో హియర్ ఇట్ ఎస్ ఈ ఇన్ఫినిటీ నుంచి ఈ వన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఐనర్జీ అంటే ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు రిమూవ్ దిస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎనర్జీ దట్ యూ స్పెండ్ సో మనకు తెలిసిన విషయం ఏంటంటే వాట్ ఈస్ ఈ ఇన్ఫినిటీ హియర్ దిస్ విల్ బీ ఎ జీరో వాల్యూ సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ జీరో దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలిక్యులేట్ దిస్ ఈ వన్ సో మనకి ఇక్కడ ఈ వన్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఎలాగైతే హైడ్రోజన్కి ఉంటుందో సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ లైక్ ఫర్ లైక్ హైడ్రోజన్ లైక్ స్పీషియస్కి సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఫర్ హైడ్రోజన్ లైక్ స్పీషియస్ సో దెన్ ఫర్ లెట్ సే ఫర్ హీలియంకి ఎంత ఉంటుంది అంటే ఇట్ విల్ బీ వాట్ ఐ విల్ టేక్ ఎక్స్ ఇంటూ ఫర్ హీలియం ఇట్ ఎస్ ఫోర్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ కరెక్ట్ సో ఫోర్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వేర్ సో ఇక్కడ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ చేశాను అనుకోండి సో ఇఫ్ ఐ సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ ఎన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ సో దెన్ ఐ విల్ గెట్ వాట్ for the first orbit stationary ante helium yokka first orbit yokka energy entu untadi that will be 4x ante kada so how do i get this x can i equate this both so appo naaku x is equal to entu ostadi 19.6 into 10 to the power of 18 whole divided by 4 ostadi ante na so this is what i will get okay so if this is the case then how about this so 4 4 4 is a 16 okay then 4 9 is a 36 so it is 4.9 so 4.9 into 10 power 18 joules ikkada so 4.9 into 10 power 18 joules so if this is the case now i got this x so ikkada can i write for if the x value is this so that means can i write for a helium en is given as what 4.9 పాయింట్ నైన్ ఇంటూ టెన్ పవర్ ఎయిటీన్ జెడ్ స్క్వైర్ బై ఎన్ స్క్వైర్ ఇన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ వోల్ట్ కరెక్ట్ సో ఇఫ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద కేస్ హియర్ జెడ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ సో హి ఇట్స్ లైక్ హైడ్రోజన్ లైక్ స్పీషియస్కి సో మరి అదే కనుక ఇప్పుడు లిథియం కడుగుతున్నాను కాబట్టి ఫర్ లిథియం వాట్ విల్ బీ ద జెడ్ వాల్యూ ఇట్ ఈస్ నైన్ ఎన్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ సో అప్పుడు నాకు ఇక్కడేమవుతుంది ఫోర్ పాయింట్ నైన్ ఇంటూ టెన్ టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ 18 into 9 out of that. So this is again, it's not in electron volt. Okay, then this is in what? Joules. This is in joules. So I'm going to go change it into study. 9, 9, 0, 81, 9, 4, 0, 36. So 36 plus 8. 4.4 into 10 power. So it will be what? 44.1 into 10 power minus 18 out of that. Then, is this right? So I didn't, I miss out the symbol here, negative sign. So here is my negative sign, negative. So here is my negative sign, negative sign. Okay, so here is 44.1 into 10 power minus 18 joules of study for the lithium plus 2 in the E1. Right? So with a negative sign. So what is the answer to this? 
B is the answer. Yes, absolutely. Negative sign is there, Chandana. You are absolutely right. So, my answer is the answer. You are B is the So, that is minus 4.41. So, you can eliminate the answers. So, energy of this, it has to be negative. Energy at infinity is zero. Obviously, in internal shells, what your energy is negative. So, if this is the case, then obviously, how do you do? Sir, me ru. <laughs> Motivation pretty sorry, Naki J. Me the tension on the both in the okay. Is my voice not clear? I think it is at maximum volume. Let me know for sure. I'll try to remove, I'll try to change my mic if there is no voice. Okay, so ante Okarakanga, you don't do options. I think I'm eliminate JSH in the country. You don't do positive one. I eliminate the eliminate. So compulsory manic rundi clone answer on the so here the answer is minus 4.41 into 10 to the power of minus 17 joules per atom. Okay. So now let's look at the next question. So this question you are So it is again a 2014 question. So this is also again on the quantum numbers. So this question lo, the correct set, I am not going to answer this question at all. Mere answer jayali. You only have to solve this particular question. The correct set of four quantum numbers for the valency electron of rubidium atom. So, valency electron of rubidium atom ki dhani oka electronic configuration or do the last electron. So, basically, they are asking you about the last electron of the rubidium. So, can you guess what could be the answer? B, 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 B. B, A. Sure, uh, B, uh. are you sure it is B? So, valency electron. Shouldn't look sorry, the A atom, you don't know. Lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, and cesium. This A group element, does it? What is the general electronic configuration to this? NS1. It is NS1. Right? So the NS1. <laughs> yes. Answer is A. So this is the valence electron. NS1 differentiating electron or the valence electron here is the same. So, this valence electron it goes to NS1. So, the configuration will be what for this? So, it is a 5S1 electronic configuration. So, that means N is equal to 5, L is equal to 0, M is also equal to 0, and S is equal to plus or minus half. So, my answer is absolutely A. Okay. So, when you ask the question, you will ask the question. The element is in the group, so you will answer the question. Is this clear? Understood? Okay. If you want to write the electronic configuration, you can write for this. What is it? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s1. Okay, so this is the electronic configuration. Understood? Right. So let's look at the next question. So, e question you're running. So look at this particular question. Which of the following is the energy of a possible excited state of hydrogen? So I couldn't know what it Again, explain me, okay? So Pavan, in the question, the element is rubidium. So this rubidium is element A group ki chandin dhan the valence electron so first thing as a valence electron is rubidium and group 1 that is 1A group. It is present in the 1A group. Okay. So if it is present in the 1A group, previous question always negative. Yes. So yes, here it is always negative. Na? The energy of the first stationary orbit. So I have to tell you that the atom is the electron. So, this electron is the first shell. So, if I am taking it to an infinite distance, infinite distance, the energy of the electron 
okay the energy of electron is equal to zero so if this is zero obvious ga internal shell lopal anta kuda the energy has to be what total energy has to be negative me gurtunnatlaite this is what we used to write hence manaki ikkada answer anadi negative lone raavali okay uh, akshay i wouldn't advise you ipude kaadu eppudaina cheptunna nu gurtu pettukondi when you are taking an online session i wouldn't advise you to write the notes aa teacher aina em cheptunnaru anedi vinandi ekkadaithe nenu idi marchipothanemo idi naaku gurtundademo ani anukunnappudu maatrame meeru notes raayandi ante tappa if you are writing it simultaneously you will miss out the concepts okay understood is this clear sir why l and m are, m are zero yes so ikkada manaku valency electron so basically ga how did we arrange the elements in the periodic table based on the differentiating electron that valence electron so ikkada valence electron manaki ns1 loku vastadi so andukane ikkada ns1 ante this is the which group so this is the second third fourth fifth group ante kada this is second sorry second period this is second period this is third period fourth period and this is the fifth period so fifth period lo this is the valency shell so andike 5sn rasana this is the configuration you need not even write the electronic configuration okay is this clear understood okay let's look at the next question so ee question chudandi so we are discussing about this particular question so manaku which of the following is the energy of a possible excited state of hydrogen so hydrogen lo yes sure ga fast ga ne cheptanu so hydrogen ki sambandhinchi manaku entante hydrogen lo energy of an electron in nth orbit is given as -13.6 into z square by n square so this is how we give the energy of an electron in the nth orbit so if this is the case ikkada e1 chusinatlaite ent ostadi manaku it is minus -13.6 electron volt mari alane e2 ent ostadi that will get z is equal to just 1 hydrogen gabatti so minus 13.6 by 4 so 4 3 is 12 4 4 16 minus 3.4 electron volt ostadi so check if there is anything but if you have something between minus 3.4 and minus 13.4 that is wrong answer ante okati kuda ikkada kuda chudandi energy of an electron possible excited state of hydrogen so compulsory ikkada kuda manaku negative undali so compulsory idi mana answer gaadu idaithe assalu mana answer e gaadu so ee rendittlo edo okati mana answer aithe undali so e2a manaku already minus 3.4 electron volt ochindi so idi this can never be our answer this is the answer to it endukante first orbit vachi minus 13.6 second orbit oka energy chusinatlaithe it is Minus 3.4 electron volt, which is more than the first orbit. Understood? Yes, absolutely. The answer here is A, and this is how you solve it. Okay. We have questions coming up. Don't worry about it. We will solve the questions of the upcoming years also. So let's look at this question. E question, you ready? A stream of electron from a heated filament was passed between two charged plates. okay kept at a potential difference of v electrostatic unit if e and m are charge and mass of the electron respectively then the value of h by lambda is given by where this lambda is the wavelength associated with electron wave so that means what our electron is behaving as a part particle as well as a wave so what is the equation that explain de broglie's wave equation de broglie's wave equation what is it lambda is equal to h by mv ante kada so this is the one that explains about the electron wave wave nature of the electron so if they vaallu em adugutunnaru ante h by lambda value adugutunnaru ante kada so h by lambda they are asking so this is your clue here okay that is associated with the electron wave ante ikkada manaku oka filament unnadi so from this filament an electron is ejected and this electron is passed between the two plates okay so they are asking you what is the h by lambda so ikkada h by lambda and h by lambda is nothing but m into v correct so this is what they are asking right is this what they are asking yes so m into v so you have to express in the form of this potential difference and the charge so velocity it must be expressed in that manner so ikkada manaku kinetic energy of the electron is 
ई इंटू वी राइट सो टू वट इज आंसर मुदे चेसारा इट इज बी ओके सर इन जेड स्क्वेर बै एन स्क्वे वाट इज एन एन इज द आर्बिट नंबर रोशन इट इज जस्ट आर्बिट नंबर इन द सैट स्क्वे बै एन स्क्वे सो इन मन इफ दिस द के मन अर्थम विषय वट इज कैनटिक एनर्जी गिवेन एस कैनटिक एनर्जी इज नथिंग बट हाफ एम वि स्क्वे करेक्ट दैन ई रईट दिस ह्यूर वि स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू टू के बै एम राय कैन ई रईट इट लाइक दिस् then what is v is equal to square root of 2 ke by m raichcha absolutely i can write here so if this is the case now can i write what is can i write here if i substitute this here can i say h by lambda is equal to h by lambda is equal to m into square root of 2 ke by m raichcha So m into m root m m into m. So if I mali, this becomes nothing but square root of 2 m into k. What is kinetic energy? That is e v. So if I substitute this, I get a value and this that I put 2 into m into what is the kinetic energy we have here? So kinetic energy is what e into v. So 2 m e v. Yes, square root of 2 m e v. Absolutely right. Okay, Akshay, we have covered the concepts. Akshay, for sure, we have covered the concepts. O kasar mere alo chen chendi. O kasar mere alo chen chendi. Ganta se patlo concepts cover jaisi. P Y Qs chappar mante. Do you think that is an easy thing? Me manasalo chay me manasame chay bed konya pardi mere. Do you think that is possible? I don't want to give you something which is not. the right thing for you ante i want to give something in concrete so oka ganta lo it's literally impossible it's literally impossible so oka vela if you are practicing with me i would advise you prati chapter ay pandartha summary untadi kada just if you take the summary that's enough right a summary mi mundar pettukondi question solve chese appudu tappe mundi tappe em ledhu kada you are still trying to understand the concepts so one hour and one hour and 15 minutes it's literally impossible okay so what it end and the best thing we can do always is manakunna samayanni better ga ela upayoginchukovali anedi okate okay meeku mundulo kuda nenu already meeku mundulo kuda cheppanu meer appudu nanu questions adigaru meeku gurtundo ledu meelo entha mandi nanu questions adigaru sir questions cheppandi questions cheppandi questions cheppandi but i told you that I'll give you the concepts. Can you put questions? I'll give you. So you put questions this time. I'm going to answer them. Sir, I'm not going to do that. Correct? I'm giving you the concepts. Concepts. Even the other month I just told you. Question. The body concepts. Good. Explain. Yes. Then. Ante. It's not much different. Okay. So B is the right answer to this particular question. Understood? Is this clear? So one doubt. Sorry. Okay, I have one doubt. How many of you remember this? What is the H alpha line? H beta line? H gamma line? Of Lyman series. Lyman series lo H alpha line and anti Japan. What is the H alpha line in the Lyman series? Okay, what is the Lyman? What is the Lyman series? Lyman series like H alpha n and n d n equal to two nunchi. Okay, electron one ko chhina puru mana kikar produce hai the first line is the Lyman series line H alpha line. Alaane H beta ante that is n equal to 3 to 1 h gamma ante n equal to 4 to 1 okay and adhe ganak if they are asking you for the balmer series so balmer series la ela ante h alpha line of balmer series ante ikkada manaku n is equal to what 
n is equal to 3 to 2 of the and the first line of the series is referred to as the h alpha line this is the what the first line of the series first line is referred to as this h alpha this is the second line and this is the third line understood is this clear okay yes absolutely 3 to 2 mari ikkada n equal to 4 to 2 and n equal to 5 to 2 okay so let's look at the next question so e question you ready so this is a 17 question so e question how do you solve this particular question so how do you solve this question unknown mr unknown let me clarify you this okay let me clarify you this see i will tell you nene cheptunanu ikkadunna pyqs aithe saripo kani pyqs solve cheyadaniki kala kaaranam endante it's not that ide pyqs meeku edo exam lo vastay anedi kaadu the only thing is to make you understand that meer pyqs solve chesthe you will be able to face the questions ane oka nammakam kosame manam solve chestha naaku telusu that is 100% true meer enni pyqs solve chesthe that will benefit you a lot kani ganta lo you cannot do everything is it right that is the reason okay uh, kinetic energy so we are just taking see they are asking the relation based on the they are not asking the relation they are asking the relation in terms of this potential difference mass and the charge so andukane we have to put it in that sense so andukane we are taking here the kinetic energy equation okay okay lokesh So is this clear? So let's look at this question. What is the answer? D. Oh wow. Under D. Konda mande engineers under. Naak dil se miranta asali kudu na data yedi avasaram guda le dena dil se. The radius of the second orbit. It's a direct question, correct? What is it? What is it? How do you figure out the radius? Zero point five two nine into n square by z. This is a direct question, right? Okay, so then that means, how do you solve this? Zero point five two nine into four. Okay, so that is the value in Armstrong unit, right? So let's look at the next question. So in the next question you have. Okay, so this is a two thousand nineteen question. So the emission line of atomic hydrogen from n first from the eighth to nth shell okay it's a, it's which line it is an emission line from initially it is in the eighth to nf equal to n shell final is given as n n i is given nf is given the the plot of wave number against one by what is this n square will will be what that's what they are asking so manaku ardhamaina vishayam entante ikkada Wave number yalla indicate indicate just the one by lambda, which is equal to R H into one by n one square minus one by n two square. Correct. So it is given from eighth to n. So if this is just substituted there, so you can only substitute just the same as the wave number is equal to R H into one by sixty four minus one by n square. Okay, so then can I write this wave number is equal to what? R H by sixty four minus of R H by n square right? Chukata? Can I write it like this? So mixed answer C and D. Yeah. Okay. So how do you write this? So इकरा माने क्या मस्त थी? Wave number y is equal to minus of R H one by n square plus R H by sixty four. So if this is equal to what is it? This is of the form what? Y is equal to m x plus c. Correct. So this is a line equation. So that means for this, I will have what is the line equation? What is y here? Wave number and one by n square. So this is the graph that they are asking. 
So it is linear, which is having a negative slope and passing through the intercept RH by 64. And then you negative slope on this. So here the slope is minus of RH. That is for sure. And what is the intercept here? RH by 64. Correct. 0, comma RH by 64. So y intercept is rh by 64, 0 comma y. So manik ikada, it is what? Linear with intercept minus rh, no. It's non-linear, no. Linear with a slope, rh, no. It's linear with a negative slope. Understood? Is this clear? Yes, absolutely. D is the answer. Okay. So let's look at one more question here. So let's look at this question here. So e question, you're ready. How will you solve this particular question? So how will you solve this question? For any given series of spectral lines of atomic hydrogen, okay, the wave number is equal to wave mu dash max minus mu dash minimum. Be the difference in maximum and minimum frequencies. So under ikada maximum and minimum frequencies differences each other. Okay. So if this is the case in centimeter inverse, the ratio is. So first thing. What is mu? This is given as what? Rh into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Correct? This is what we have. Okay? So this is what we have. So Lyman series ki, Balmer series ki. So they are asking you. Sorry, it is the ratio they are asking here is delta mu bar for Lyman series is to delta mu bar of Balmer series. So, E ratio figure out Okay. So, this is the ratio that they are asking. Okay. So, for any series, first thing, okay, n1 value will be same, correct? So, the n1 value will be same. So, that means here, for example, if a mu max, Rasanan quantity, this is what Rh into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by infinity. So, in the context, mu max represents infinite orbit. So, I n1 orbit nunchi infinite. So, this is the maximum. Correct? So, this is the mu dash maximum. Then, what is mu minimum? So, mu minimum and that will be the first orbit. 1 by then the and the next one. 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square of study. And then, so here it is rh 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square of study. Correct? This is what I will get. Okay. So now tell me something here. Can I write here delta mu dash is equal to this value minus this value? So if I write, can I say that this value is already 0? Okay. So, it is 0. This is 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n1 square will also be 0. And negative minus of minus this becomes plus. So, can I say this is rh by 1 by n2 square of stada? So, now if they are asking for Lyman series. So, Lyman series low. What is the second line minimum ante? For Lyman series. So, manaku Lyman series low minimum ante 2 to 1 line. Maximum ante infinity to 1. Okay. That is why Balmer series ayte, minimum ante 3 to 2. And the maximum ante that will be infinity to 2 1. Matter. Okay. So, manak, if this is the one for Lyman, it will be what? Rh by 1 by 4. Correct. So, for delta mu bar Lyman will be rh by 4 and alane delta mu bar balmer will be what rh by 9 ostadi so can i say the ratio will be 9 is to 4 so the ratio the 9 is to 4 ostada right yes absolutely it will be 9 is to 4 understood okay so any more questions hi santoshi good evening santoshi uh, Astrophile, the session ends at 5.30. Okay. 
actually it is starting at 4.15 or 4 and the session ends at 5.30. I have a session I have to take it in Vedantu Telugu Need channel. Okay, yes, absolutely right. So the answer will be 9 is to 4. Is this clear? Any questions still here? So, I would say that I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that yes, it is not going to happen. We are trying to cover the various model of questions. Okay? And if you want to answer any questions, that will benefit you a lot. Did you understand this? Sir, for Pradeep, I know I have made a note of what you are saying. No summary ga better than you know for sure ga next session nunchi. As a summary, I will write it for you, just for you guys. Okay, now Pradeep, next session then just summary ga Rastan Pradeep, for sure. Okay. Is this clear? Any questions still here? No, I, actually the question, I did not take this. This is an incomplete question. The ratio of delta mu bar Lyman series to that of delta mu bar Balmer series. This is the actual question, but I haven't written that. That's why I have written it here. Okay? Sure, I will take it, Pradeep. Don't worry about it, Pradeep. Next session will be tomorrow, right? If you have a question, surely you will only notice it. Okay? Thank you so much. I hope you understood what we have discussed. Sir, use Blackboard. Yes, I will use Blackboard. Okay? Clear? <laughs> I understood Roshan, I understood. So thank you so much guys and if there is anyone who did not subscribe to the channel, please subscribe and Danto Bhattika Yavarana Telegram group join our netlaite, please join the Telegram group. Okay? So if you have any more questions you can ask me, we will end the session in the next 30 seconds. Okay? Yes, there are a lot of questions Sanjit. So, what is the best thing that we could do? I had like 1 hour 15 minutes. Okay, 1 hour 15 minutes low. Any questions either possible? I think close to 15 to 16 or 17 questions either manam saw jesam, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Clear? Thank you so much. Repeat session we will solve questions. Alane concepts goda me I will summarize it. I will give the summary to that particular concept for you guys for sure. Okay. Sure, Pavan, I will add the questions that are related to 2023. 2020, yes. The past four years, actually, I'll tell you one of the reasons why I couldn't add. I have actually, I have added the questions from this. This is an old book. Okay, I haven't added it, but I'll add the previous year questions from the remaining topics. From 2021, 22, 23, and 24. Okay. Sure, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next session. That would be tomorrow. 